heating effects of the current. When a current passes through a circuit with finite number of resistance, it will gradually decay and become null when a continuous bias is not applied. The reason for this is that a non-zero resistance causes that current to lose its energy and the lost energy is partly used for work and the rest is dissipated as heat. The amount of heat dissipated depends upon the amount of current, the value of resistance and the time for which the current flows. We know that power is the work done in unit time. The amount of work done in moving a charge Q across a potential difference V is VQ. So the power is VQ by T or VI. If T is the time for which the current passes, the total heat produced in this time is P times T. Using the Ohm's law, we can rewrite the above equation as this is called as Joule's law of heating. Practical applications of heating of electric current The heating effects of the electric current have been applied for designing many useful appliances. Some of them include the electric stove, the electric heater, geyser, etc. Electric bulb is another example. The bulb's filament reaches such a high temperature that it starts emitting light. The fuses that are used in our houses are too based on Joule's principle. Fuses are used to limit the amount of current that passes through the power lines. If there is an excess current in the circuit, the thin wire in the fuse gets overheated and melts. This opens the circuit and the current stops flowing thus preventing the effects of the power surge. 